Good afternoon, everyone. Yet another atmospheric river ripping through California. Record waves at over 32 feet of Monterey Bay. Record snowfall across Squaw Valley, now even beating the 1980 totals. Rare atmospheric lightning over San Francisco. And how the news always explains these rare events is, it's not unheard of. Well, yeah, we not unheard of. We had to go back to 1862, looking at this kind of flooding. Drought, NOAA predicting intensifying drought through 2017, continuing or worsening drought, but suddenly the reservoirs refilled. Wow, that was a wrong call. How is it that a private company can get the forecast right, yet our government can't? And they're the ones saying out into 100 years into the future. And the IPCC is just a puppet for the UNFCCC. And I could see why Trump removed all references of climate change off the White House website. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and pass this through your social media so others can join the conversation. Sunspot count continuing to drop off years ahead of predictions. Another atmospheric river ripping through the west coast of the United States, dropping record snow and rains again in Oregon, California, and Sierra Nevada mountains. It looks like a typhoon ripping in there. Water vapor concentration map here. You can see where it's blue. We're going to get more snow. And accompanying this, record waves pounding Monterey Bay. 32 feet plus, even beating the old record in 2008. Sierra Nevada slammed again. 154 mile per hour wind gust this time. Another almost two feet of snow. But wait, that follows two weeks earlier with 173 mile per hour gusts. What is with the wind intensification on this planet? Squaw Valley already exceeding the record of 23 feet set back in the 1980s. They're at 305% of the January average, triple the average. Amazing snow totals here and images coming out. This was a few days ago prior to this storm. They'd already beat their 45 year totals, but now these first 20 days of January exceeding anything accumulated so far record wise. Now, in other anomalous events, San Francisco lightning storm, intense to say the least, striking buildings, scaring people so much they called into the media to ask what's going on. And of course, when the media can't explain the intensification, they always say, well, it's not unheard of. I guess it's not unheard of because we have to go back to 1862 to get lithographs like this showing the floods. Now, NOAA the entire time calling California drought to intensify groundwater shortage to continue diminishing further into 2017. They weren't even sure that it would even rain with La Nina. They were only 55% sure. Even on their graphics of the data snapshots, drought intensifying or worsening. And this was just, what, three weeks ago? And the climatologists who are predicting California drought Oh, they're saying because the Arctic ice loss, California would absolutely dry out. Significant reductions in rainfall and snowfall across the American West. And these are on the newest computer generated models. Oops, wrong call. Reservoir conditions filling like never before. Record rains, record snows, all the dams replenishing themselves in just literally two events. Now it's coming to the point where these dams are completely filling up. And they need to let water out because it's at 100%. Now, how is it a private weather company can predict just even weeks in the future what's going on? Yet our own government with all these models, yet they can't even predict a month in advance when it's going to have record rains and snows. And they're telling us they can predict out into the 2080s and the 100 years in advance. Defund them. They're giving us wrong information for over 10 years. And I could see why Trump and their new administration removed all references of climate change. I'm going to add in my thought there. We need to really start having discussions about the intensifying effects of this grand solar minimum. It's all based on the sun. It's clearly visible now. Its changes are not happening the way that CO2 models were. And we need to have a real discussion going forward now without censorship about what's next for our food crop losses and how we're going to distribute food across this planet when we get into the shortages.
You can see temperature and rainfall has undulated throughout time. It always has, it always will. It is not because of CO2 warming and man in this last 40 years suddenly changed the climate. It's been like this for hundreds of thousands of years. And the IPCC eager to continue serving the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So it's no secret the purpose of the IPCC except to further the agenda of a global government that makes laws with no elections. They are appointed, literally going back to the 1500s. You are a serf and you are ruled by a king. And for those of you saying that my videos are not appearing on your feed, you're gonna have to go in and click on that bell to resubscribe and make sure you get all my videos in your feed. And I do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for your time. I know time is limited in today and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And if you like the kind of videos that I'm putting up, please jump over to my Patreon page. You can support me over there.